I know what you're thinking. How like how many Hawaiian shirts do I have? Um, what is up, Paradise Crew? As you can see, it is another wonderful day in Paradise. If you're new here, this is the channel where we talk about cruise tips, cruise vacations, cruise vlogs. And if you are into that and you're going on a vacation soon, please consider clicking the notification bell and clicking subscribe because in this video, we are talking about how you can bring alcohol on your cruise without getting into trouble. Seriously, it is an option. I'm not a lot of people know about it, but in this video, I'm going to explain it right now. So. Without any further ado, I'm going to hit the two minutes in paradise clock, see if I can get this content to you guys in less than two minutes. Let's jump right in. <clears throat> so when it comes to bringing alcohol on your cruise without getting into trouble, it comes to just following the rules a little bit more with detail. So it depends on the cruise line you're going on. But for example, if you are sailing on Disney, it is only two per stateroom, but you can bring a six pack of beer or two six packs of beer, or you can bring two bottles of wine or a six pack of beer and a bottle of wine, basically two. Now, the only caveat is with Disney is make sure you bring your own corkscrew, because if you do not bring your own corkscrew, they will charge you a corkage fee. And that goes the same for Royal Caribbean and Carnival. But when it comes to Royal Caribbean and Carnival, you can only bring two bottles of wine. You won't be able to bring your beer there. On Norwegian, it is a little bit different, still the same concept, but they will charge you a corkage fee no matter what. But you do get to save a little bit of money on bottles of wine because you can bring one bottle, you can bring two bottles, or you can bring one bottle of wine and a bottle of champagne. It is entirely up to you. It's a really cool rule. I'm glad they have it. There's no real reason to sneak wine on a cruise anymore because you can bring your own booze. Now, whatever bottle of wine or beer you do decide to bring, it is extremely important that you bring it on your carry on bag. Do not put it in your checked luggage. Now, if you need more tips on what to bring on your carry on bag, uh, be sure to check out this video here. It lets you all the tips and tricks to do before going on your cruise and putting it on your carry on bag so you can avoid any issues in the future. Also, here's a bonus tip. If you are cruising Disney, once you've drank your six pack of beer in port, once you get back, you can bring back a local beer, a local six pack back on the ship and they will not take it from you. So the more you know. Guys, if you found this video helpful as a quick two minutes in paradise, I think I nailed this one this time. Um, give this video a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to share it with your friends because it is an easy video to share and it helps people out. Now, this is a community driven channel. If you know of any more tips about bringing wine on cruise or anything that has changed, please let us know in the comment section below. And as always, if you dig the vibes, please subscribe. And if you care, please share. We'll see you guys in paradise next time. Peace.